Hi guys, in the last video on 3D references, we had a slight problem with a named range from a previous assignment that I had. I had a range in here that was named and it kind of threw off the work we did with the 3D references a slight bit, although the concept and all the steps were clearly delivered the end result was slightly uh, uh, erroneous due to the fact that I had a previously named range that kind of screwed up our formulas. So we're just going to rectify that mistake Okay, here. So I've changed the four cell fork sheets to, to their, a better name, more descriptive, supplier 1, supplier 2, supplier 3, and supplier 4. Each one exactly describing what it is in that, in that worksheet, okay? And as you can see, they're all almost exactly the same. And we're going to do the formulas again. We're going to fill in the sum, the average, the min, and the max for each one of these, except we're going to do it one time, and it's going to be applied to all of them, this time correctly, okay? So what we're going to do is click on the first sheet, supplier 1, hold down the Shift button, and then click on the last sheet. And we'll, this way, it, we've highlighted the worksheets. Just like you highlight a range of cells using Shift. So click on a cell and then hold Shift and click on another cell. It'll highlight all the cells between the two cells. In the same way, we'll click on the first worksheet, hold Shift, and click on the last worksheet and we've highlighted all the worksheets and we're active in the first worksheet okay so very similar concept now we want to fill in these formulas this time properly so equals sum we're going to highlight this range and notice this time we don't have uh, a named range here equals sum average excuse me And equals min equals max. And since all of our worksheets are highlighted, this will be applied to all our sheets. And now that we're happy with this, maybe I decrease my font a little. And now we can go and see that everything worked properly in the other sheets. As soon as I click on another sheet, all this this entire selection gets disengaged and we're back into a normal mode. As you can see, the formulas got applied to all the sheets and we have the appropriate numbers here this time. And that's the only thing that really we, we uh, made, made a mistake on in the last video. And uh, But the general concept was to be able to select a bunch of sheets and in one swoop apply something to all of them. For example, I've highlighted all these again. I can go in here, change the font to red, and now I've changed the font to red on all these sheets in that exact same cell though. Okay, That's the catch. They have to all be lined up exactly in the same way. I'm sure you're going to find a great use for this at work or at school or any side projects you may have. So, hope this was helpful. Make sure to check out the channel. Tons of Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Stats, and R tutorial videos. And until next time, click on our sponsored ads. They keep these videos free. Have a great day.